fly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book, a reading rainbow. Store and pick it up. Hi, I'm Joe Kowalski. Have you ever been looking for a book filled with lots of political turmoil and a deep analysis of human folly? Well, look no further than The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. The Casual Vacancy takes place in modern day Britain in a town called Pagford. Pagford is a small, quaint, and pretty town that is rife with conflict and sin, as one town hall member, the kindest of all the residents, Barry Fairbrother, passes away. The book deals with the other residents trying to take his place, mostly dependent on their position on keeping a slummy part of town that accidentally became part of Pagford anyhow. Barry was all for it, but will anyone else be? J.K. Rowling possesses a mastery of language in this book. She uses vivid, sometimes hilarious ways of explaining a situation. Her greatest strength, though, is a pitch-perfect understanding of people and why they do what they do. Being that this work is partially a satire, this works extraordinarily well. One of my favorite characters in the book is Fats Wall, a dynamic character who incites most of the conflict in the book by trying to get back at people to ruin their reputation. Fats is a tall, funny, popular teenager who smokes. He hates his father because he sees him as weak-spined and inauthentic. He also shags girls in the bushes, whatever that means. Another character I like is Samantha Mollison, and Samantha, a minor character, owns a bra shop in town and likes one of the kids in her daughter's favorite boy band a little too much, if you know what I mean. Her purpose in the novel is caused by her infidelity to her husband, which gets her a heaping hop of trouble. The major conflict, however, is merely fighting over this parish council seat. It may sound like a small matter, but it's far more tumultuous matter than you might think. For example, in order to discredit their parents from doing well in the election, some of the teenagers hack into the city website and spread secrets about them. This is resolved not by fixing their parents' dignity, but by one of the kids taking the blame. Another conflict is a girl perceived as a poor girl who is a, in a constant struggle to keep her mom off taking drugs. This is resolved when the girl commits suicide. There is a lot of moral ambigu ambiguity here, as you can tell. Nothing is ever truly fixed. It is just another incident that feels more fire. This book has a lot of power, humor, and a dash of unpleasant romance, even if Pagford is a town after my own heart. Don't believe me? You don't have to take my word for it. 